Welcome all teachers, admin, anybody interested in QR codes. This is the Tat Ed YouTube channel. I'm glad you made it along. Um, I want to show you how to make a QR code um, that plays an audio file. And there's a lot of reasons we could do this, but I want to walk you through the process. This is what I learned from an um, ed tech guy named Tony Vincent. Uh, amazing guy. Check him out. Just Google Tony Vincent education and you'll see just a plethora of stuff. So Tony, if you ever watch this, thank you. Um, it's a great tool. So first thing you want to do is you want to create an audio file. Now, a couple of ways you can do this. Um, I have the app to the online voice recorder within my Google Chrome browser. You'll see that um, <clears throat> here is the actual website is online-voice-recorder.com. This is great for a couple of reasons. One, it's completely free. Uh, number two, you can cut the recording very, very quickly. And if you mess up, you simply just start again. You can use Audacity. It uh, has a lot more features to it. It's a program you have to download. Um, and if you've ever used it or know what it looks like um, I'll show you it looks like this right here audacity is again 100% free <clears throat> and it has a lot more uh, you know things to do um, a lot more effects and stuff but for most people that's gonna be too much so this is quick and easy to use and all I do is press this button and I'm recording <clears throat> So you see if I press stop, it gives me the wavelength. I can press play. Press this button and I record it. I can go here. I can even I can trim. And I record it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that'd be fun. Fun for everybody. But I can trim this mm -hmm. how how long I want it to be. Once I'm done, I simply click save. It's going to save, and I'll be able to save this to my computer. Now, in order to make the QR code, here's what I recommend you do, is that you go to a your Google Drive account. <clears throat> if you don't have a Google Drive account, uh, they are free. You have one with every Gmail account. Um, it's just once you're logged into your account, uh, your Gmail account, it's drive.google.com. So I will log in. And I will save this as a dummy version to show you what um, what it looks like and what you have to do. So, of course, when this is um, being done, I want to go and I want to save this. I think I already saved it. I might not have. Once this saves, it's going to save just like any other file. It's going to ask me where it wants to save to and... Um, once I have that, sorry, my computer is getting a little slow here. Heard something. There it goes. <clears throat> so it tells me it's you know two seconds and it's an MP3, which is what I want it to be. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Um, actually, no, I can save it to my Google straight from here. So I'll save it to my Google Drive. You see, I've already have a couple here. So I will name this one just for sake of being able to find it. Test click save um, if you don't have Google Drive linked to your desktop you would simply just put it to your desktop and open Google and drag and drop so but for now that's in here we will go find it <coughs> gosh I'm sorry see so I have the test here um, and of course I can play it it'll play and I record. there you go but here I want to go up and I want to go ahead and get the shareable link. You need to make sure this one says anybody with my school system, but I want to make it so anybody can have it. Go to my sharing. Um, I'll go here to advanced and I will change this so that anybody can view it. Now that I have that, I'm going to click. I'm going to copy this link. Now I'm going to go to a QR creator called goqr.me and so it'll happen as you see it automatically creates one for text I will simply just paste that link in <clears throat> and here I go I have a free preview so what I'll do is I will get my phone and I will actually scan this link so that you can hear it 
from here. So I open up my QR code reader. There it goes. And here is when I press the pray button. And I record. So that is from my phone. So once I have this, basically what I've done is I've opened up a link, I've put that link here, and it's generated this QR code. I can now download this code. I can change the background, I can change the colors, um, whatever you want to do. Again, it doesn't affect it because all the, the, the markings inside are what matter. But if you needed, you know, different, uh, something for a different reason, um, maybe to match something or, or, or what, not whatever, um, <clears throat> you can do this. I can change the size of how it was downloaded all the way to pretty much a full page. So I'll maybe do a smaller one. I would download in probably uh, JPEG if you're going to print it out. It tends to be a smaller file. And then this image is one that you can print. And then you, wherever you want to put it, you can make a, um, you'll be able to click on it and listen to the audio. It'd be great if you were doing podcasts within your kids. Um, using Audacity, you can't do this because Audacity uh, is a bigger file and it won't save as easily on voice recorder does it for you automatically and you can go ahead and uh, save it straight from here so I, I, yep it did save so if I open up this file it's gonna open up that QR code I gotta drag it from my other screen over here it's coming there we go so again if I click on this again with my phone there it goes it found it and then I'm able to go so hopefully that is something that you find useful how I plan to use it is I will use it um, just for quick snippets like I put something on my door today letting them know that we're doing the trial to kill a mockingbird to please make sure if they come in to sit on the appropriate side um, it was for admin because I know they have QR readers but there's a lot of different ways you can use QR codes um, especially for classes if you have all your kids download these QR codes or have Apple iPads with apps download the QR code so you put one site on the computer or on your active board they're able to quickly identify um, the site by just putting the uh, iPad up to the QR code and taking them there automatically instead of having them try to type in these really long um, web addresses so I will be using these as a way to promote my podcasts they can quickly click on the uh, click on the QR code and they're there so again we used online voice recorder.com our Google Drive, and goqr.me. Hope that's helpful.